Hey there, car enthusiasts. Today, we're diving into the fascinating world of car emissions technology. In this video, we'll explore DPF systems, at Blue, SCR systems, and why servicing your car is crucial. Let's see what is DPF system. The DPF system in a vehicle stands for diesel particulate filter. It is an emission control device used in diesel powered vehicles to reduce the harmful emissions of particulate matter PM or soot that are produced during the combustion of diesel fuel. DPF systems are an important component in modern diesel vehicles to meet stringent emissions regulations and to improve air quality. A diesel particulate filter DPF primarily stops or traps particulate matter, which consists of tiny solid particles such as soot and ash from the exhaust gases of a diesel engine. Here's what DPF filter stops. Soot particles. Diesel engines produce soot as a byproduct of combustion. These microscopic soot particles are suspended in the exhaust gas and can be harmful to both human health and the environment. The DPF's porous filter traps these soot particles, preventing them from being released into the atmosphere. Accumulation. Over time, as the exhaust flows through the DPF, Soot and ash accumulate on the filter surface. This accumulation causes the DPF to become clogged. Cleaning a blocked DPF can be done through a process called regeneration. There are several methods for cleaning or regenerating a DPF. Let's see what are them. 1. Passive regeneration. In ideal conditions, a DPF can naturally regenerate itself when exhaust temperatures are high enough to burn off the accumulated soot. This typically occurs during prolonged highway driving. When the exhaust system heats up, regularly taking your diesel vehicle on highway trips can help promote passive regeneration. 2. Active regeneration. If passive regeneration doesn't occur frequently enough, the vehicle's engine control unit EC, you can initiate an active regeneration. During active regeneration, extra fuel is injected into the exhaust system raising the temperature in the DPF and burning off the suit. This process usually happens automatically, and drivers may notice increased fuel consumption during active regeneration. 3. Forced Regeneration In cases where the DPF becomes severely blocked, and active regeneration doesn't work, a mechanic may need to perform a forced regeneration using specialized equipment. This involves connecting the vehicle to a diagnostic tool, that can initiate the regeneration process manually. 4. Replacement In extreme cases where the DPF is severely damaged or cannot be cleaned effectively, it may need to be replaced with a new one. It's important to note that regular maintenance and adhering to the manufacturer's recommended service intervals can help prevent excessive DPF blockage. Frequent short trips with low exhaust temperatures and inadequate maintenance can lead to more frequent DPF issues. Therefore, it's crucial to follow proper maintenance practices for diesel vehicles with DPF systems to ensure their longevity and efficient operation. Okay, let's go for SCR system and it blue. The SCR system, which stands for Selective Catalytic Reduction, is an emission control technology used in diesel vehicles and industrial applications to reduce the emission of harmful nitrogen oxides NOx into the atmosphere. A blue, also known as diesel exhaust fluid diff in North America, is a key component of the SCR system. Here's how the SCR system and it blue work and why they are important. The SCR system is designed to reduce NOx emissions, which are a major contributor to air pollution and can have adverse environmental and health effects. Here's how it works. A blue is a solution composed of purified water and urea, a substance derived from ammonia. It is stored in a separate tank in the vehicle. During the exhaust process, a small amount of it blue is injected into the hot exhaust gases upstream of a catalyst. In the SCR system, when it blue comes into contact with the hot exhaust gases, it undergoes a chemical reaction. Urea in it blue breaks down into ammonia and H3 and carbon dioxide, CO2. The ammonia produced in the reaction acts as a reducing agent, 
It reacts with the NOx gases in the exhaust and converts them into harmless nitrogen N2 and water vapor H2O inside the SCR catalyst. The treated exhaust gas, now containing reduced levels of NOx, is released into the atmosphere, significantly reducing the vehicle's NOx emissions. The SCR system, when used in conjunction with it blue, is highly effective in reducing NOx emissions from diesel engines. NOx emissions are a major contributor to smog formation and air pollution, which can lead to respiratory problems and environmental damage by reducing the need for other, less fuel-efficient methods of NOx reduction, such as exhaust gas recirculation EGR. The SCR system can also lead to improved fuel efficiency in diesel engines. SCR technology can contribute to longer engine life by reducing the amount of exhaust gas recirculation, which can lead to lower engine temperatures and less wear and tear on engine components, cleaning a selective catalytic reduction. SCR system typically involves maintenance and inspection, rather than cleaning the SCR components themselves. The SCR system is designed to reduce harmful nitrogen oxide, NOx emissions by utilizing a catalyst and a reducing agent usually at blue, or diesel exhaust fluid to facilitate chemical reactions. It doesn't accumulate deposits like a diesel particulate filter DPF might. However, here are some maintenance and troubleshooting steps you can take. If you suspect issues with your SCR system, check at blue levels, ensure that your vehicle's at blue. Diesel exhaust fluid tank is adequately filled. The SCR system relies on at blue to function properly if the at blue tank is empty or low. It can cause the SCR system to malfunction. Inspect for leaks, check for any visible leaks. In the at blue system, including hoses, connections, and the AdBlue tank itself. Leaks can cause a loss of AdBlue fluid, leading to SCR system issues. Check fault codes. If your vehicle's onboard diagnostic system, OBD2 detects a problem with the SCR system, it will typically store fault codes. Use a diagnostic tool to read these codes and identify the specific issue if you're not comfortable doing this yourself. Consult a qualified mechanic or service center. Regularly drive at highway speeds. Frequent highway driving can help maintain proper SCR system function. This is because higher exhaust temperatures are often necessary for effective SCR regeneration, which can occur naturally during sustained highway speeds. If you suspect a significant problem with your SCR system, or if it's not functioning as it should, it's advisable to seek professional assistance from a certified mechanic or service center. They can perform diagnostic tests, troubleshoot issues, and make any necessary repairs or replacements. Cleaning the SCR system itself is not a common maintenance task, as it doesn't accumulate soot or ash like ADPF. The focus is primarily on ensuring that the AdBlue system is working correctly and that the SCR catalyst is not physically damaged. Proper maintenance and addressing any issues promptly are key to keeping the SCR system operating efficiently and within emissions compliance. In summary, car servicing is crucial, especially for vehicles with DPF and AdBlue systems as it ensures proper operation, reduces emissions, maintains efficiency, and helps prevent costly repairs. Regular maintenance not only keeps your vehicle running smoothly, but also contributes to a cleaner environment by reducing harmful emissions.